So when 43-year-old Penny Bell was found dead in her car after a violent attack in 1991, it was a murder that shocked the country. But nearly 30 years on, police have opened a new forensic review into the unsolved crime. It is an extraordinary story. We're joined now by Penny's daughter, Lauren. Good morning, Lauren. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I just... It's, I, I can remember this. I can remember the headlines 30 years ago. I was 16 years old and, and sort of trying to put together what this meant for you and your brother particularly. Um, you were just nine at the time. You, two of you were waiting at the school gates for your mum to come and pick you up, which is just heartrending as an image to know what would actually happen. What are your memories of that day and, and sort of the months that followed? Uh, yeah, surprisingly, actually, I do have vivid memories of that day. Um, nothing prior to that, but uh, on the actual day itself, it's... Um, I was only talking to my brother about it the other evening and we just remember it exactly the same, how, you know, no one came to collect me from school. Um, and then when we got home, we were met by police at our front door uh, and my brother and I were taken away whilst they spoke to my father. So, and we just remembered where we'd been taken and, and, and what we sort of thought over those next five minutes before we went home and, and finally sort of were given the truth. And you actually, as you were saying, you remember that day, but you don't have any memories of before that. And, and is that because of the trauma of the whole experience? Yeah, absolutely. And it's, uh, I, I've done a lot of research into this and I've had a lot of help, as you can probably imagine. Uh, and I think that's very common when you're a child of that age. You haven't really built up any kind of cognitive skills to cope with that level of trauma. So your brain is almost like a Pandora's box and it closes it up. And uh, I was told that some of those memories might come back, but uh, as yet, I'm still waiting for that to happen. And of course, over the years, you must have believed that any time now, we'll know what happened. And of course, you fast forward to today, 30 years on, and you, you say you're no closer to knowing the truth than you were two days after your mum was murdered. I mean, that's extraordinary to think that you've lived with all this gap, this vacuum of knowledge of the most horrific thing to happen in your life. What is it that you hope that now this case, that, that it's not exactly reopened, but, you know, sort of bringing it again to the, to the public's mind. What are you hoping for 30 years later? Yeah, um, it's remarkable that nothing has come from this and that, as I say, we still find ourselves in the same position with the same information. Uh, that said, there are lots of loose ends. Uh, picture this as many pieces to a puzzle. Uh, so with a little bit more information, we could get there. We, we're in a very tangible uh, state right now. And there is a forensic review currently uh, underway. We should have the results from that shortly. And I think what's key to remember is that, yes, it's 30 years past, but in 30 years, a lot can change. Uh, and I believe that somebody possibly watching this has that information. Uh, they have the power to come forward and give that and possibly solve this case. And since doing publicity since the beginning of the year, we have actively seen leads coming in. So the dedicated police team um, are, are actually following up those leads right now. So it kind of gives credence to the fact that people want to help. Um, and I think also really importantly, people often say to me, oh, it's so terrible that you don't have answers as a family. And, okay. and that's true. But more concerning, somebody, the person that did this, still walks the streets mm. with all of us. But it, it, it is just so important. But it must have... You believed, do you, that it was somebody that your mum knew because this person was in the car and presumably she wouldn't have let a complete stranger in the car? Yes. I mean, there's, there's so much around this case. We wouldn't even have a chance to sort of really go into detail now. But yes, given the circumstances of the way in which she died, uh, everything points to the fact that she knew her killer. Uh, so, as I say, there are, there are leads being followed up, but absolutely there is a piece of information out there that somebody has, and I implore them to come forward, as it would be life-changing for us. Mm. And Lauren, just before we let you go, because it's... it's... It's just an extraordinary case, and we'd really hope that off the back of talking to you this morning, something does come forward because the advanced in forensic evidence have, have come on leaps and bounds even from last year, let alone 30 years ago. The hardest thing, I guess, for you and your brother is that you've been robbed of these memories of your mum. Do you have any recollection of your mum and, and what she was like? 
Oh, I wish I did. And as I say, I've undergone and <laughs> spent a lot of money on trying to uh, to get some of those memories back. And it's never been it's never been possible. And I've since gone on to have a child myself. And I thought that might also help, but it, it hasn't, sadly. But do you know what? It, it has given me the feeling as to how she would have felt about yeah. me and, and my brother. And that in itself um, is fantastic. But just lastly, just to say, sadly, at the moment, we don't have uh, support from the police in terms of an appeal. But um, I will personally be putting up £20,000 to anybody that can come forward with information that will help with a conviction. Um, so I think that's really important to, to put out there as well. We're in lockdown. Now is the time to talk to one another. And if your circumstances have changed and you no longer need to keep that secret for someone, uh, please come forward. And I know there is a telephone number for, for the incident Got team. So hopefully that's yeah. Sure. And Lauren, you know, best wishes to you. And I know that you called your daughter Penny, didn't you, after your mum, which is an enormous tribute. Lovely. And I don't know how you're so eloquent and together and how you've, you know, raised yourself, essentially, these last few years. I mean, you know, it's very brave of you. The circumstances very, very are extraordinary. Brave. Thank you for joining us this morning, Lauren. As, as you were just saying, though, if there is anyone who believes that they have some information about the case, they can contact Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 111.